<laughs> oh yeah what up you guys welcome back to another one of these videos today i want to talk to you about some tips for chops so chops are these and i think chops should be very very relaxed okay you can do reverse chops Oi, i almost hit my face <laughs> and then you can do these variations where you have like a chop chop reverse 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 chop chop reverse chop chop reverse reverse chop reverse reverse chop okay they are very easy in a sense they're very relaxed a lot of the times i see people doing like stuff like this and wondering why it's so hard to do chops you don't have to chop like that you can just do a swing relaxed and i think it looks much better and it's much much easier so this is just um just a couple of tips if you've been practicing this and you find it very hard to do let me just give you quick quick tips first of all it's easier to do the chop if you hold it here by the end so you slide it down you catch the club you slide it down and you do the chop so here's the chop it doesn't need to be a big arm movement that takes a lot of time and effort this takes very little time and effort okay that is it this is a chop right reverse chop <laughs> so it's very easy very relaxed so first practice to do it like this okay you can first just practice swinging like this you can catch by the end and do the swing or you can catch here and then slide either way you can even do the swing holding like from the handle from here it's not that big of a deal okay uh, obviously the more closer to the end you hold the bigger the swing will be like this swing while my arm is still and this so you get much bigger swing if you hold it by the knob but that's pretty much the only thing so yeah it is very relaxed if you catch it by the end like this <clears throat> you see look very nice so first things first figure this out and you can just practice throwing and doing the swing from the outside so the knob the body the big end goes down and you just swing in it like this i'm mostly holding it with my thumb just squeezing it with my thumb like this so it goes down my palm opens up a bit turns forward and then it goes there very simple basic pattern now instead of it going outside it's gonna go over like that so it just instead of going forward like this it's just gonna turn it a bit and it goes a little bit that side it doesn't have to go way over there just a little bit cross that is enough if you look at it from the forward it doesn't go that much okay it only goes just a little bit cross so that's one thing you don't have to go all crazy like this it can be very relaxed very small smooth action so that's it so now you gotta practice doing that very relaxed okay and <clears throat> then you also need to practice the cascade because if you try to do it from here it's not gonna work you have to have a little bit more relaxed cascade so if you do if you never practice control i'm gonna make a video about that as well um, but just practice a little bit control so you can do a little bit higher a little bit slower a little bit wider if you need to so you just need to practice control so, so you can have flexibility so where you're gonna throw because it, it needs to be a little bit more slow so if you look at this pattern oh sorry if you look at that bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. This is my cascade when I'm doing chops. So it's very relaxed. You see? So you need to relax your cascade. So just try it a little bit. Try it a little bit. And now let's put them together. Because there's the two biggest things is doing the chop, 
doing too much work, too much effort. You want to make it relaxed and controlled, okay? And the second thing is the singles. They need to be more relaxed. So what we're going to do here, first practice this. So you throw cascade, cascade, and the first one you're going to chop, all right? Now you're going to chop the second one. And then the first and the second. Okay, just to get that trying on. Now comes the hard part. Now we're gonna throw and do the chop. So you could throw together and do the chop. This is what you need to practice. Throwing and chopping. And making sure that the single throw is still relaxed. Okay, and usually what happens, you wanna let go too fast and it goes there, or you're trying to rush too fast and you make it a two like fast spin or it spins one and a half. So make sure, let me get back here. Make sure you, um, you relax with it. Okay, so when you do this, practice that, just focus on a good single. So the single comes where it should, be, uh, where it should come. So it doesn't go forward. Okay, and then you can practice this. And that's pretty much the biggest things. And then you just do continuous cascade. First, second, first, second, first, second, first, second. and then with three. And then you just um, do one at a time, get the relaxed rhythm going on, do that one, do it again, and then try to do it without all this, because <laughs> that's the first thing I see. People, when they start focusing on more stuff, like you have three clubs now, you start to do, again, way too much. Just stay relaxed, and you do that. Stay relaxed, and then you start to do it with the other hand. Then you can do like two in a row. Try to keep it relaxed. One, two, one, two, three, back into cascade. Keep the rhythm, one, two, keep the rhythm. One, two, three, one side, one side, keep the rhythm. And just slowly go like one step at a time. Okay. And again, this is not like a tutorial. This is hopefully to give you guys some tips, but kind of kind of tutorial as well. But yeah, and if you want to learn reverse chops, the same thing. Just this. And you do the same steps. Wait, sorry. Yeah. Uh, on the reverse chop, the chop goes first and then the throw. You make the chop here, chop, and you throw under. So it's sort of like you put the arm cross, and then you throw, and you bring it back. So they go up together, up together, and up together. So the chop goes over, and the throw comes under. And you just do the same steps with this movement. And then you go. Then again, finally learn this. You keep everything relaxed. You know where everything is going. No extra movements, no fuss. Oh, sorry. Let me show you this angle as well. You we get the chops. You get the reverse chops. And there you go. That's it. That's some tips on chops. <clears throat> Sorry about that. God, my shoulder is killing me today. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys want to learn more about this, uh, learn more techniques where I actually show you like tips and steps on how to learn them and how to do them more easily, check out my online chocolate course, chocolatemastery.com. 
there's like a whole bunch of techniques with clubs, balls, rings, pirouettes, stretching, creating new tricks, how to train, uh, how to build an act, all this kind of stuff. So definitely, if you're interested, I will the link below, chocolatemastery.com. Check that out. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.